For about $1,000, we transformed an unfinished attic room into this glamorous bedroom. My daughter is almost a teenager and she wanted her own space. We noticed that she was spending a lot of time in this attic bonus room that was unfinished in our house and we got our heads together and thought maybe we could create her a dream teen room on a really tiny budget with a whole lot of DIY in that unfinished space. So we started by taking that space and creating knee walls with hidden storage. The knee walls really helped with the functionality of the room because no longer did we have really low ceiling points in the room. It created a ton of storage for our family to use. After we got the knee walls built, we finally had a place to put a bed. And I knew I wanted to build an upholstered bed and I had it all figured out exactly how I wanted to do it so I could make it super easy. My daughter totally surprised me by picking out this pink fur and it was absolutely the most perfect best choice because the fur was so easy to work with. It just hides all imperfections. You didn't even need padding behind it. And it's just so glamorous and unique. And you look at the bed and you're like, oh my, it's, I mean, the bed really made the room and was the inspiration for all of the design in the room. So she did a really good job picking out that pink fur. We added some gold legs to it to really glam it up. And she has a one of a kind bed in her space. But the room was missing a closet and we racked our brains on how to come up with a good closet system that would actually function for a teenage girl and hold all of her things but be easy to keep tidy and um, be a good addition to the room. There was some weird bump outs in this space and we decided to just go with those bump outs and build a room divider closet in between that you could walk through. It was a really easy project. We just built two towers and then we tied them in with two by fours and paneled the back with plywood and painted it up. It cost us about $150 and it totally transformed the space. The room divider closet also created a tall wall that we could put a mirror on, put a console table on, just it made the space so much more functional. We used some of the leftover wood from building that room divider to build a console table so that she could store things like board games or homework or you know things that don't necessarily go in a closet but she still needs in her room. The console table was absolutely perfect in size and storage but it just wasn't quite right. Felt like the white was blending too well with the wall behind it and the shelves were getting really cluttered with all our things and it just was not the look that she was going for in the room. So I just brought it back downstairs to my shop and put some doors on it, add a little detail to the door and gave it some black paint and it is a totally transformed piece of furniture. Um, I love when you make something, you know how it's built so it's easy to modify it and you know just kind of fine tune it to exactly what you need. Every teen's room needs a desk and I wanted to create something that was very simple and did not compete with the rest of the elements of the room. So we built her a little writing desk and it's got very clean lines. I spray painted the hardware gold and painted it black just to go with that high contrast glam feel in the room. It turned out perfect. I had a nightstand that I built a while back that matched the desk perfectly, so I stole it and painted it black and spray painted the hardware gold and brought it up here and it is perfect in our space. With all the projects done, we started adding decor. Jacob had a set of caribou antlers that we spray painted gold and hung up in the room just for a fun element that was basically free. We had to buy curtains and a comforter and a rug 
and that set us back about the same amount as the knee walls did. So that's where things started getting expensive. And then we went around the house and just found different unused lamps and other things and spray painted them gold to really decorate the space. We found these gold dots at a big box hardware store and they're just peel and stick and they were about 10 bucks and um, they really made the space fun and personalized. I love my new bedroom. My favorite part of the room is my closet because it holds all my stuff. It makes the rest of my room look nice and clean. Thank you mom and dad. My work in this room is done. She'll probably accessorize it and personalize it a little bit on her own. But as far as my part, I'm packing up my tools and getting out of this room and moving on to the next. We appreciate you guys watching and hope that you enjoyed this room makeover. We'll be on to the next next week. Thank you so much. We'll see you next Monday.